Bibb County students may not have a new superintendent by the time the school year starts in August, but tonight board members took the first steps toward replacing Dr. Romaine Dalamont. At a special called meeting, the board okayed having the Georgia School Boards Association help them through the transition process. It's going to cost taxpayers a base fee of $10,000 plus pay for consultant travel and advertising if the board decides to use that route to let people know that they're looking for a new superintendent. Then the board will tell the, GC, the GSBA what they're looking for in the new head of the district. After that, they'll present completed applications to the school board who will decide on the candidates they want to interview. The board will release its list of final candidates, which will be made public for about two weeks. Then members will select the new superintendent. Jim Puckett with the GSBA tells us the whole process will be very transparent for both the board and the public. Ours is open and the board will know that they have uh, had an opportunity to determine who out there might want to be uh, their next superintendent. And that process could take up to six months, but Puckett says if the board works quickly, it can be done in four to five months. The GSBA will also give the board a list of candidates for interim superintendent. Suzanne Griffin Zebart was named acting superintendent at last week's meeting, but she'll only be in that position for 30 days.